everyone. I thought maybe you'd like a little quick video on a quick and easy gift that everyone loves, everyone I've ever given them to wanted me to make them for all their friends, which, you know, okay, so take that as you will, because warning, you're gonna have to make more than one of these. So we have this fun new um, cuddle that's so fuzzy. It's so soft and shaggy. Now I had Annette cut me a half a yard and then she took it outside and shook it out. So you do not want to cut this and take it right to your sewing machine. You have to go shake it out outside. The birds will love you because it's great for their little nests, but you don't want to go right to the fabric because it will be a mess. So there's salvages on here, I'm gonna cut them off. So this is a third of a yard by the width of the fabric. And I'm just gonna, oh, you know what, I'm gonna leave the salvages on since I don't want that mess again. What you're gonna do is you're going to just put the long edges together and pinning, pinning is something somewhat optional here. Um, and you're gonna leave about four inches unsewn on each end, all right? So you're gonna sew that long seam and then we'll do the next. Here we go. Pinning, well, maybe, if you feel like it. No, you probably should. I'm gonna do about a half inch seam allowance so that we can um, get into sewing. And I would say you want your stitch length to be about three. You don't want something short. You could even go three and a half. It's not gonna be any stress on these seams. Um, but you kind of want to make sure those cottages are together so that um, you don't have a lot of wonkiness going on. But you're going to have fluff. So what I'm doing is, is I'm kind of feeling the cut edges and putting them together. And if you can tuck the fluff in, you can do that. That works great. But don't worry too much about it. It's just a scarf. Did I say we're making an infinity scarf? I don't think I did. Someone wants to turn my speed down. This is one of the icon twos we have from our event this week. They are just so fantastic. And just feel on the edge as we go. <laughs> that brick is so crazy. So fluffy. project is so forgiving. If your edges aren't really together, you're never going to notice it. Can I have some pins? I forgot that.
Four inches open at this end too. This is where it gets really complicated. Okay, so now you've got your seam sewn. You're gonna put your hand in there, turn it out. Okay, line up your seams, and then you're gonna turn it, you're gonna twist it a couple times. Then you're gonna, those open ends, the short ends, you're gonna pin those together. I didn't pin the long ends, I do pin the short ends. That's why we have to leave a little bit open on the long seam so that we have enough open to get to the ends here. If we had it stitched all the way, it'd be hard to get both ends. Plus you'd have no way to turn it. So now we're gonna stitch this short end. I left the salvages on, which no big deal. We're making a nice healthy seam allowance anyway. Now we're gonna sew those short ends together. Bring my zirco into my correct side. Let's see. are about half an inch. All right. All the way down. Okay. So there's the short seam. All you have to do now is tug it. And there's still a hole in there. Your choice. Do you close it? Do you leave it? You could stash things in there, I guess. But you can just kind of fold those, oh, that opening together. And if you top stitch it and then fluff it up, nobody will ever see it. Okay? So see the seam here? You're going to go there and kind of pull this fluff out so that you don't see so much of the seam. But I like to have them nice and full. Very. Oh, actually. Luxurious. <laughs> so that's it. What did that take me about? I don't know, 15 minutes? Maybe not that long. I might have taken a net 10 minutes to cut the stuff. So, and then you have to go fluff it. Don't forget to go out and shake it. So, if you want to come in and get some fluffy, we have probably six colors of um, cuddle. This is the only one that's really long but we have some really pretty faux animal skins, like a um, couple rabbits, I think. Leopard. Faux rabbit. Snow. And uh, maybe a snow leopard. So come and do one. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs>